The sea serpent, also known as the sea dragon, is a mythical creature that is said to live in the oceans around the world. It is typically described as a long, serpentine creature with a large head, a scaly body, and sometimes fins or flippers. Sea serpents have been a part of maritime folklore and legend for centuries, with many sailors claiming to have seen these creatures while out at sea. In 1966, British Army paratrooper, Lieutenant Ritchie and Sergeant Blaze, rode across the Atlantic to build endurance. On the morning of July 25, while Blaze was sleeping, Ritchie heard a strange sound coming from the starboard side. He later recalled, I looked out to sea and saw a huge creature with a coiled, twisted body. The phosphorescence of the sea illuminated its outline, making it appear as if it were decorated with a string of neon lights. It was massive, about 35 feet long, maybe longer, and it was coming towards me very rapidly. I stared at it for about 10 seconds. It rushed right up to us, then disappeared under the deep water beneath the boat. Richie was frightened and shaking, saying, Blaze and I have seen all kinds of sea creatures such as whales, sharks, dolphins, flying fish, and so on. But the monster we encountered that day wasn't any of these things. On October 11, 1848, after returning to Plymouth from the East Indies, the British warship HMS Deadless submitted a report stating that on August 6 at around 5 p.m., while the ship was about 300 miles off the coast of Africa in the South Atlantic, acting Lieutenant Sartorius saw an extremely remarkable object, swiftly approaching the ship from directly astern. Sartorius immediately reported to his superiors. The captain, two officers, and other crew members rushed to sea, and they saw a large sea serpent swimming towards the ship's bow. According to eyewitnesses, the visible portion of the sea serpent was about 60 feet long, with a head and neck diameter of about 15 or 16 inches. It passed HMS Deadless at a speed of over 10 miles per hour and headed southwest. Captain McQuay said it passed very close to the stern of the ship. In the summer of 1936, Henry Stout and his son Henry were working in a hay field overlooking the sea in outer town, Strongness. It was a bright and clear day, and the sea was calm. Suddenly, their attention was drawn to something less than a mile from the shore. As they looked closer, they saw an object of considerable size. It was moving faster than any motor boat in Stromness could have kept up with. They watched in awe as the object began to move closer to the shore, and four sail-like fins became visible. Henry Stout estimated that the foremost of the four fins was about five feet high and four feet long at the surface of the sea. The other fins were smaller and situated at intervals of ten feet. For half an hour, they watched as the object moved closer and closer, until Henry Stout hastened to Breckness for a spyglass. It was August of 1937 when a group of workmen on the Fair Isle had a terrifying encounter with a mysterious sea creature. They were going about their work in the water when they noticed a massive shape approaching them. The creature was unlike anything they had ever seen before, exceptionally large and with a shape that defied description. Alarmed for the safety of their colleague, who was still in the water, the men were about to issue a warning signal when the creature suddenly sheared off and swam towards deeper waters. It remained visible for a while, swimming in the distance, and the witnesses were left shaken and bewildered by the encounter. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe for more content like this. Also, feel free to leave a comment below with your thoughts on the topic we discussed. Your feedback is greatly appreciated and helps us improve our future videos. See you in the next one.